Uh, the web is uh, actually doing very, very well, uh, but still a gap. There's more advertising dollars that could be spent on the web. But when you look at mobile, mobile is the gigantic opportunity. And I think five or six years ago, this is the opportunity that Google and maybe Apple saw. There's an amazing amount of time spent on mobile devices and almost no advertising. So there's a huge opportunity to make that happen. Uh, when you look at the gaps, uh, so this is a chart that just looks at that time spent versus ad spent, and where's the gap, and how much is that? It's about $20 billion a year. It's, it's a huge opportunity. Uh, a little bit on the web, and a lot on the web. Uh, this chart also is not going to uh, So the numbers are a little out of date, but it gives you a feeling for just how big this is globally. This smartphone revolution is not just something that's happening in the United States. It's happening everywhere. Uh, so globally, uh, the, the big countries are, some of them are obvious, some of them are not. So the US, Japan, and China, Korea, those are pretty obvious. Uh, Italy at number five is kind of surprising. Uh, I would have expected, uh, where is Brazil, number seven. Brazil is actually the fifth largest country in the world, fifth largest economy, uh, just a booming, booming place to do business. Uh, Poland at number 13, pretty amazing. So a lot of this has to do with the government policies and how they license uh, bandwidth. Uh, and some of it has to do with just amazing companies in those areas. But, the, the key point of the chart is over 1.1 billion have 3G. We're moving to 4G and LTE here. Uh, so it's a, a very big growing market. Many of you may remember Mark Andreessen. Uh, he wrote a pretty popular and provocative uh, blog post about a year ago that said, software is eating the world. Software is getting into everything. In our, in our cars, in our phones, in our TVs, software is everywhere. And his point was that software is eating the world and disrupting everything, changing everything. And that's true. Uh, what he didn't talk about was mobile apps. And today, mobile apps are eating everything. There's an app for everything. And it's getting bigger and faster. So where do you find apps? They're games, predominantly. Thousands and thousands of games, but you also see apps for art and retail, news. Every news organization has an app. Uh, small businesses, travel, apps are everywhere, growing very, very fast. So already, mobile apps is a $10 billion business. Staggering, think about it. Most apps are free or start free. And many of them use the premium model where you, you get the app free and then you might upgrade and pay for additional services. But even as early in the market as we are today, $10 billion in apps, growing 100% a year. It'll be over $20 billion this year, probably over $40 billion next year. Huge. <coughs> so when you compare the opportunity of mobile apps versus the opportunity for mobile advertising. They're both huge, but apps is the bigger one. So developers are going to have a great time developing apps and, and make a lot of money over the next several years. This year, we saw the first mobile app get acquired for a billion dollars. That's a staggering, staggering thing to happen that one mobile app could be acquired for a billion dollars. And by the way, Facebook had a hell of a deal. I remember when this happened, people were stunned about Facebook was crazy doing this. I wrote a blog post that said it was the smartest thing they ever did. Giving up 1% of your equity for the future of mobile, mobile photos. That's the number one thing people do. So a 
billion dollars for that company. One percent of Facebook's equity was probably a pretty good deal. But it was one of those things that makes people sit up and take notice. Why? Why? It took AOL nine years to reach a million users. It took Facebook nine months to get to a million users. And it took draw something nine days. That's how it was <laughs> Mobile app, one million users in nine days. So that gives you a little idea of how fast this adoption is. Like I said at the start, we're in this business, right? So we sort of get lulled to sleep about, oh yeah, yeah, I know about mobile apps, I know about mobile apps. But when you step back and look at the numbers and you compare it to things in the past that we've seen, there's nothing like it. Nothing like this explosion of mobile is like nothing I have seen in 30 years. It's amazing. So I talked about this earlier about how smartphones can close the digital divide, the rich versus poor, and the affordability of PCs. What I didn't mention was the technical skills required to use a PC. Again, we're in this business and we've done it forever, so it's simple to us. But hand the PC to your grandma, or hand the PC to someone in the third world, and ask them to use it. It's, it takes some skill. It takes some talent to be able to use these things. Not only are they expensive, they're hard to use. And to do anything useful, you have to have an internet connection. None of that is true with smartphones. You don't need an internet connection. They're easy to use. Anyone. You can hand a smartphone to a two-year-old and they know how to use it. So it's those sorts of things that are going to make the adoption of smartphones worldwide an amazing phenomenon, even bigger than we're seeing today. This is an ad from my local newspaper uh, just a few weeks ago. And I was stunned. Mobile phone for one penny. So when I talked about mobile phones and smartphones being available to the rest of the world and the cost coming down and down and down, it really is. One penny. Uh, and with a variety of devices. Uh, so that's where we're heading. And the whole idea of Android is to bring down the cost of computing. Bring down the cost of devices. Because from Google's perspective, the more devices there are out there, the more users there are, the better it is for, for all of us, and the bigger the opportunity. So prices are going to continue to come down. If you look back at the PC revolution, PCs were $5,000 when they first came out, or more, and had very limited ability. And the prices came down and down and down and down. We're seeing the same things with smartphones, only starting at a much smaller price point and moving down. So it's a very competitive market. Uh, and the price is coming down, that's great for all of us. So in this huge boom, where are the opportunities? What should we be doing? Well, when you look at the top 40 apps that are sold on Google Play or on iPhone App Store, out of the top 40, only five of them were not games. So games is the obvious opportunity. That's where people are spending a lot of time and effort and where users are uh, making their investments. Where is the investment dollar going? Well, for me, uh, I have six areas that I look at. So it's the obvious ones. Mobile, social, location, games, payments, and e-commerce. Those are the six obvious ones. Everyone knows that. But what I try to do is find companies that do at least three of the six. And if they do four of the six, I tell them, if you do three of the six, I'm interested, I'll listen. If you do four of the six, I'm there. I'm coming to see you right now. If you do four or five of the six, I'm all in. I, I want to do it. And what I mean by that is, first of all, everything has to have mobile. If you don't have a mobile solution to your new business,